Hello everyone, this is Cliff and welcome back to our Let's Play of Dark Souls, the Prepare to Die edition. This is the continuation of the video that I cut in two in the last episode. Can't see the other guy. Oh, there he is. If I could do a plunge attack from here, that'd be awesome. Okay. Anyway, we're not worried about them yet. Uh, they may be farmed off camera. They're kind of aggravating. So basically, we've got to retrace our steps. It won't be nearly as difficult because we've actually made it to the control room of that boulder. And we're sending them off in a way that we'll never actually see them again. Although it does get a little loud. Wait, just in case. Always somewhat dubious about this. Oh, you bastard. Oh shit. <sighs> Cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's awesome. We're gonna head through this way. Ah, I've seen this before. Okay. Okay, so as you can see at this point it gets a lot more difficult to avoid all of these. Ooh, slow down, we don't need that. So what we're gonna do is this. And we're gonna unequip that. Go, 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 go. Okay. There's one up there. Shit. Okay. Hey! Now this is when you have problems. Poke you, poke you. No means no. Okay, large tight knight shard times two. drop down there uh, we'll do that later we just want to get to the bonfire nice uh, yeah there you go okay that's gonna hit me. I think he's actually equipped with a shotel, which is why I'm getting that bleed through damage and sorry the camera wonked out on you. Okay. I 
Okay, so you see him there. He becomes a problem. And I am out of... Ow. I need better than that. Well, I've hit him. <sighs> I don't think I have my uh... This is going to take incredible timing. Move. All right. Whew. That was unnecessarily perilous. That's what I get for not bringing my. You like lightning? There. Jackass. Okay. That's what I get for not bringing a bow. That made that a lot more hard, uh, a lot more difficult than it had to be. And again, you got a couple of holes that you can pop through. We're not gonna do any of that. We're gonna try to avoid that. Okay. All right. This should lead us outside. Yep. Okay. Now that is the guy that's feeding all the boulders. You cannot. You can kill him, but he will come back. There's a couple of other giants in this level that you can kill and they will not come back. So right now, this is actually a, 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 a more annoying part. This guy right here will throw these bombs. You gotta run your ass off. We're gonna drop down here. There we go. And we've hit the bonfire. So we're gonna rest. Take a deep breath because we will start here from now on. Um, we are uh, pretty close to the boss. Uh, pretty close to opening up a shortcut back to the very bottom of Sin's Fortress. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is kindling this bonfire um, for the boss run. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to uh, see if I can collect a few more items. Whoa. Slow down from. Okay. Uh, there's nothing here. So this just drops you back down to where you were. Okay. And you have to be careful because that serpent's back. So if you need to actually go down, I would come up here and open up the shortcut. Don't try to fight all the way back through Sin's Fortress. But we're going to go this way. There's a... Balder Knight right there who doesn't know what he wants to do. Okay, come on. Yes, yes, angry. Come on. I poke you. No. Only I can do that. Okay. Jump off here. that 
That is a boost fire defense. Yep. Uh, okay, we gotta get that item. Okay, so. Obviously, it's kind of a big weight off your chest once you actually get to that bonfire because you know that you can get back here pretty easily. The next part is just figuring out, frankly, where he throws all of those bombs. It looks like he throws one right here. Yes, he does. The char marks on the ground are a fairly obvious warning as to where not to go. It should be on the bottom because I went there. Okay. I can come across here. He throws one here. Now this leads. Oh, 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 oh! Someone got excited. This leads to a merchant. Those help actually in the very beginning portions of Sin Fortress, so that kind of sucks for the timing. But he can uh, sell us large Titanite shards, which are awesome, and the regular variety, which are more expensive than at the first uh, blacksmith, so that kind of sucks. What does he have? He has the Balder Shield, Tower Shield, standard selection of arrows. Ah, this is uh, the Katarina equipment. Which is very expensive and the steel set and the complete balder set okay that's awesome thunderstones now nah, we don't need any of that the uh yeah okay that thunder set would uh that thunder ring would have been nice like i say in the very beginning of this walk through Am I walking down here for a purpose? I forgot what's down here. I hope it's actually something worth this walk. Sorry. Oh, yes. One of those guys. Yay. I poke you. Look, you're not going to do anything. So, uh, not all of the enemies are intelligent all of the time. Cage key. Ah, oh, that's the cage key for Big Hat Logan. That was kind of a waste of a walk, but that's okay. Okay, so now the obviously the worst part of this is I have to actually make that jump again, which I barely made the first time. Whoa, thanks to the camera wanting to track somewhere totally different. There we go. Now again, I'm not quite sure what all of the bombs are. Drop back down here. Rest at the bonfire. Okay, let's uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, it's equipped. Shit. Um, get rid of that. Dump 
up all those. Okay. What I do want to pull out is my scimitar, which is already there, and my Uchi Katana, I've already got. Lightning Spear. Okay, cool. Alright, uh, we're going to reinforce Scimitar. Okay, so the Scimitar right now is ready to be infused with that Boss Soul. Excuse me. Which will do an Anor Lander. Tight Knight Chunk. I don't know if I want to reinforce this. I'm not going to be using it that much, frankly. Let's tighten that shirt. I've got one. Okay. So it would have helped to have actually gotten another large tighten that shirt, but that's okay. Um. What we're going to do is put our scimitar up because I don't want to do something stupid with it. And I'm going to go ahead and put that up so we can't do anything with that either. Alright, and it's just two level ups. I think I'm going to go ahead and boost that a little bit. Because it helps with equipment load, which now I can do 22 and a half and still roll at full speed. Um, let's repair everything. Uh, okay, now that we've got a little housekeeping done, I'm going to try to go ahead and kill off that giant. And open up that shortcut. And as long as you can stay on the move in this area, you're fairly safe. Recover your stamina on stairs. Really? There's a guy with a crossbow up there. That's awesome. Okay, now you, you have to watch this dude right here. This guy will actually respawn. But he's very much like the first cleric. Oh, that took a lot. No, that's not nice. Very much like the first cleric we fought for the uh, Firekeeper Soul. I can't seem to backstab him. Son of a bitch. Roll. Uh, now you roll. You jackass. Ow. Nice. I deserve that. Okay, I'll give you that. Bye. Nice. It wasn't pretty, but at least I won. Okay. We'll drop down here. should be another I should meet another kind of named NPC yeah right there thank you for burying that into the ground oop you missed 
Oh, parry attack, nice. How about that? That hurt, didn't it? God, your aim is crap. You have, kind of have to watch his parry repost. I've got it lucky because I'm lower level. And his sword actually attacks straight. Oh, okay, good. Get Rickard's Raper, Rapier. Okay. And he has a couple of cool little items in here. Yeah. Divine Blessing. And a rare ring of sacrifice, which we will actually use much later. Uh, there's an area where your character uh, gets killed, and there's not anything you can do about it. And you can see that that giant right there. That's the second giant that you can kill that won't come back. He's the one that opened the door to this place um, in that cutscene. But obviously, what we want to try to do is get rid of the guy up top because he's the kind of the major asshole of this level. And again, my memory's not good enough to remember where every single uh, detonation point for those firebombs are. You stay there. I'll go this way. Now... Now that is the shortcut to the bottom. And I don't want to ride that down just yet because all of the enemies that are below that we fought to get up here have respawned because I hit that uh, bonfire. So that can actually be a perilous trip down. Leisurely stroll. Quit trying to shoot me. Yeah, that's nasty. Okay. So, and make sure nothing's around, but that is the big bad right through there. You hit this uh, fog wall and you can take on the boss. I'm not going to do that yet. Uh, I am going to reverse hollowing because there is somebody that can help me pretty much kick the crap out of that boss. So what I want to do... Hold on one second. Uh, I'm trying not to sneeze. Sorry. We're going to walk up this uh, stairway here. Now, this guy is can be a pain in the butt, obviously, because of stuff like that.
not safe, but I love the guy. Lock on to it. Ow, I did something stupid. Yeah, keep doing that. Well, not all of that, asshole. So he wears himself out doing that attack, so. No, I don't know what his hit points are because I can't freaking see them. Oh, I just screwed myself again. Okay. Once he does his tantrum attack. Feel free to wail on him. Okay. Now you do want to kill this guy, not only for the fact that it makes this run up a lot less perilous, but because of his position, he can actually interfere with this boss fight. And we don't want that. Let's run back down here. Across here. I don't think there's actually, yeah, anything over here. There you go. All right, so. Basically, we've killed a major annoyance for the boss fight ahead. We've opened the cage door, which is our shortcut back down to the beginning. Um, so, really, the only thing that's left to do is to reverse hollow and give the boss a go. Let me cook this guy down here. You got a rapier. Shit. Uh oh. Oh, that's good. Thank you. I don't mean to kick your corpse around. That's just part of the game. Okay. I don't know if there's anything down here. Somebody will probably say gorgeous view. Of, yeah, praise the sun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now you can, like I say, hop over there. <clears throat> but there's really no need to. You know? I don't think that guy gives nearly the amount of souls that the other two giants do. Plus you have to come over here and you have to take a run and jump and all that good stuff. And I mean usually the only reason I jump over there is to fall down and get that item. Which is what I'm going to do now. I don't think I actually wanted to jump that far. Now see, that's the type of stupid thing that I do sometimes. Uh, you wore yourself out. Damn. Damn and blast. Ow. Get up. Contemplating whether I want to actually beat this guy or just waste those 9,000 souls. Do I have any? Okay, he's just going to throw that tantrum, so that's good. 
No, I don't. See, what I'm afraid of is if I beat this guy now, I'm going to have to drop back through that hole, which is... Quit locking on. Which is someplace I don't want to be. Oh, son of a bitch. Fuck it. Just let him kill me. I'm giving you a chance, and now you're hugging me. What the... This is awkward. Let me go. Yeah. <clears throat> so, this is what happens when you play this game wrong. Because I don't want to drop back down there. <laughs> Maybe I'll let him do his tantrum and just try if I can run around again. No, son of a bitch. Just kill me, damn it. <laughs> okay. <sighs> That's awesome. Damn it. Find out where my souls are. I guarantee you they're back over there on that platform with him. <clears throat> yep so obviously the, the bad part about that is this I would actually have to go back through the entire level the second half of the level to do that to get my souls back I'd have to drop down in that hole uh, and that would just be a pain in the butt Let's see what I can do. If I kill this guy here. Hey. <laughs> Asshole. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> so now that I killed him off, it'll actually be a little bit easier. Okay, let me get back to the bonfire. Let me get back up here. Okay, and this place, like I said, is much safer now that I don't have to worry about fire bombs being thrown at me. All right, let me stand behind this column while I speak. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go collect my souls and run back through this level. I'm going to do that off camera because that's boring as shit. And next time we're going to take on the boss. And I'll probably pick up the video from this bonfire over here and reverse hollowing and all that good stuff. Okay, so this has been the first part of Sin's Fortress. Um, next time we finish up, head to Anne Orlando. And I hope to see you then. Y'all take care. This is Cliff. See you.